what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The last week has produced a couple of major videos that have come out of the Atlanta area. The first video to go viral this week was that of Rayshard Brooks, who was murdered at a Wendy's after someone called 911 to report a man sleep in the drive-thru. Apparently, the unrest that has ensued since has been a bit too much for Officer Karen, who had a mental breakdown at a McDonald's because she was inconvenienced. Yeah, she said they were taking too long to bring her her English muffin dinner. She said she went to McDonald's and ordered an English muffin dinner and some coffee. That's all, simple. Something she's done for years. This time she said it was taking so long that the girl told her to drive forward. You know how they do when you're in one, she's, you get your receipt in one window and you pull up to get your food, but they, they tell you it's a wait, so you pull up a little bit further. So she says, she's waiting and she's waiting and she's waiting, waiting and she's waiting and she's waiting, and she's hungry. And so finally, the girl comes out with her coffee, but she doesn't have the food. Just when she start like going, losing it, fam, like breaking down, like, and she doesn't have the food and at this time. I don't know what to do <laughs> because I can't see the food being made. <laughs> so she don't trust she don't trust them because, <laughs> because she can't see the food being made. These are her words. Holding back tears, by the way. I said, don't bother with the food because right now I'm too nervous to take it. It doesn't matter how many hours I've been up. It doesn't matter what I've done for anyone. Right now, I'm too nervous to take a meal from McDonald's because I can't see it being made. I don't know what's going on with people nowadays, but please, just give us a break. Please, just give us a break. I don't know how much more I can take. I have been in this for 15 years, and I have never, ever had such anxiety about waiting for McDonald's drive through food. So please, just have a heart. And if you see an officer, just tell them thank you, because I don't hear thank you enough anymore. <laughs> Thank you for finally shutting the hell up. <laughs> this woman went on a dash cam diatribe. Isn't that a taxpayer's expense? This woman has no business roaming the streets with a gun and the authority to take life, the authority to pull somebody else over and charge them up, ask them questions and maintain her sense of awareness and sense of just, just to maintain Sensibility, she has, she has no business being a police officer. This woman belongs in a psych ward. She needs medication and a therapist. She has horrible communication skills and she is irony challenged. What is wrong with her? I don't trust her. Now, she admitted that people buy her food and they thank her all the time. But why does she want to be thanked so much 
for a job that she's paid to do. She acts like she's volunteering her services. She is paid to do the work. Okay, I get it from time to time, people. People don't mind being, you know, thanked or whatever. They don't, they don't mind hearing a thank you. I get it. But expecting a thank you? Nah. For doing your job? Nah. You're not doing us any favors. If you were doing the public a favor, perhaps I can see a thank you. Somebody, you know, do a favor for you, you know, it's the courtesy thing to say. It's the courteous thing to say, you know. Thank you. Thank you. But you're not doing anybody any favors. She's probably killed somebody. And if she hasn't, she is going to kill somebody because she ain't built for this like 95, 99% of them. They are not built for this profession. Why do they want to be thanked so much? And why can't they, they maintain control during communications? Somebody say one thing and they lose it. They come out with the authority thing. And if it don't go as planned, they just snap. I mean, like, like that, they snap. And Lou just lose it. This woman is amazingly dense. She is crying about being inconvenienced and saying she don't trust the McDonald's worker because she can't see her food. And this is enough for her to have a nervous breakdown. Good thing she was not in that drive through sleep. Because if she was, then she probably would have ended up like Rayshard Brooks. Nah, no, she wouldn't. She's a cop and she's white. Wouldn't have happened to her. They only shoot black people in those type of situations. I feel nothing for her. I know she's trying to, she just seemed like somebody that wants attention. You know, she seemed like the type of that, a person that like a mother who wants her kids to thank her for feeding them. Like, you know, she cooked, put the food on the table, kids eat everything. And then they go about their business and she just gets mad. And she just, you know, she don't say anything right there on the spot, but she just going about her business for days and just, and it's, and it's killing her. And she just go and, and wash, wash the dishes try them all by herself, put them up and everything. And then one day, she just, damn, 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 and just dropped the dish. She's like, you never say thank you to me. You're so ungrateful. Just please have a heart. Just, and if you see a mother out there, just, just tell her thank you. Just say thank you. <laughs> hey man, say uh, Officer Carey, look, listen, we all have days where we're not at our best, but most of us are not empowered with pistols and, <laughs> I said pistols, <laughs> with pistols and Badges with the authority to control people to some extent, to control people's movement and even their freedom, life. You have that power and you're totally unfit. Totally. If you think what you went through by being inconvenienced because your little funky English muffin didn't come out on time. I would gladly trade places with you. I would gladly be in that position that you're in where the only thing that can make you have a damn breakdown is to be inconvenienced at a McDonald's drive-thru.
You ain't got to worry about losing your kid to some old racist cop that's profiling them. You ain't got to worry about falling asleep in the drive through and getting shot up. You don't have to worry about getting your house, your door kicked in to your home and getting shot up while you're in the bed or sitting on your couch watching television or somebody walking through your door, a cop walking through your door, just gunning you down while you're eating ice cream on your couch in your house. You don't have to worry about those things. I'll take your position. I'll take it. Let's switch. Until then, suck it up, buttercup. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Damn.